Hello everyone. Good morning and good evening to all of you. My name is Abhishek Shrivastava. I have close to 29 years of IT industry experience in the fields of business analysis, project and program management. In this video, I am going to talk about benchmarking and market analysis. This is a technique in the BABOK and also one of the highly used techniques in the field of business analysis. Let's start with benchmarking. What is benchmarking? Benchmarking is a technique which is carried out to evaluate an organization's performance by comparing its practices against the best practices or best in class practices found either in the competitors, government or industry associations or bodies. It may also be carried out against compliance standards to validate whether an organization is meeting them or not. So where do we use benchmarking? Benchmarking can be used in variety of situations. One example is the benchmarks could be used to compare processes in one retail store with those in another store for the same organization or when an organization is opening another new store and it can benchmark it against the best performing store. Similarly, a chain of medical clinics might measure its customer service based on certain key metrics which are pretty good at another clinic or against the industry benchmarks. Some of the real life examples, McDonald's uses benchmarking to study the profiles of its customers in Spain and uses Sprinkles benchmarking module to get comparative business insights. Southwest Airlines, it uses benchmarking to identify best practices in the airline industry, including a focus on low fares quick turnaround times and excellent customer service. So as a business analyst, when you're using benchmarking, you can use it to compare the processes, the standards, the systems against the best in class, whether coming from the competitors or from the branch of the client organization so that you can figure out the gaps and document them so that the proposed system can be made comparative to the best in the class. So which are the steps which are taking in benchmarking? So while you're benchmarking, you need to identify what is to be benchmarked, the relevant area. It could be processes, it could be standards, it could be UI, anything. Identifying the best in class against which it has to be compared. Conduct a survey, which can be done by using request for information or paying visits to the selected enterprises or organizations to understand their practices. Then identify the gaps between the current and best practices and then develop a plan as part of the software development or part of the change to implement these best practices. So this was benchmarking. Now let's get into market analysis. Market analysis or market research is conducted on the customers or on the market to understand the needs, wants, preferences, what are the factors which influence the decision making and the competitors or competition in the market. It helps draw out significant insights on customers needs, preferences and it helps in driving key business decisions. For example, launching a new product, expanding operations in new region or location, entering the market at the right time, gaining insights into customer preferences learning from past successes or failures. These are some of the things which can be achieved using market analysis. For example, in real life, Starbucks uses market research and analysis to track cultural trends, monitor social media, gathering customer feedback, and even in-store product testing. Over the past many years, Starbucks has used market research by obtaining consumer feedbacks through its platform called my Starbucks idea platform. This platform essentially allows customers, potential customers and employees to visit the website to submit any kind of creative ideas or feedbacks they can come up with. These ideas can range from anywhere from new offerings to minor changes in, in the current products or idea of a new product. This is the market analysis real life use case study for Starbucks. So if you are going to conduct market analysis for an organization or for your client, what are the steps which you need to take? 
identify customers to understand their needs and preferences so obviously in this case the customers has to be the target customer base for the client for which you are implementing a change identify opportunities to increase the value for the stakeholders what does the market analysis is going to tell you that's the value which you are targeting for your client identify competitors in the market to delve into their operations and understand their operations what makes them tick identify trends define business strategies and gather market data use the existing resources to gather information and clarify questions at hand finally review data to derive key insights and take key decisions which can be used as part of the change which you are going to implement now market analysis and research can be done again in variety of situations a lot of organizations use this to plan their ad strategies marketing strategies but this can also be done to come up with new kinds of products and services by organizations before i end let me summarize the key points of benchmarking and market analysis so the first thing is about the objective benchmarking what is the objective of benchmarking it helps in evaluating an organization's performance to ensure it is operating efficiently whereas the market analysis aids decision making on whether to enter or exit the market when to partner merge or divest next is data collection mechanism for benchmarking data collection can be done by conducting a survey using a request for information sheet or by making visits to the organizations organizations or competitors for market analysis you can gather market trend data by looking at the research papers use the existing other records the the books and other studies conducted by various marketing organizations end goal for benchmarking is to develop project proposal to implement best practices the end goal for market analysis is to determine trends and draw conclusions based on review of the collected data so these are some of the key points about benchmarking and market analysis as i mentioned earlier this is a technique which is part of the cbap ccba and ecba certification examinations hope you like this video thanks for watching if you like this video do subscribe to our channel and also click the bell notification icon so that you are notified of every new video thank you for watching this video see you in the next video take care of yourself